welcome back to my channel guys so today i'll be doing some garlic butter tuna sticks i purchased these tuna sticks from bj's and we are gonna go right ahead with the video first here i have salt pepper garlic powder and all-purpose seasoning i will also be using some olive oil and here are my three pieces of tuna sticks I'm trying to make the video as simple as possible without too many ingredients and still taste good. So let's get right in. So first I mix the dry seasonings together and we are going to start just drizzling it all over. And now I'm just going to be using my hand and just spreading those seasonings all over that layer and flipping it over so I could do the same to the next side and next I'm going in with a little bit of olive oil just drizzle and spread that on as well on both sides So my fish is all seasoned and for cooking, I'm going to be using my favorite, my cast iron skillet. See you guys at the stove. So I am using my grill cast iron skillet because I love to see the grill marks on there. Now I put in extra virgin olive oil. My heat is on medium. I am going to cook it for about five to six minutes on each side or until I feel that it is fully cooked all through. So about four minutes into it cooking, ooh, beautiful. I am going to turn it like a 45 degree angle because I like those crisscross grill marks. Just so I could get that and allow it to continue to cook for the rest of that five to six minutes. And now it's time to flip them over. Oh, so beautiful. This is the grill marks I was talking about when I twisted it to a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to allow it to cook for five minutes this time on that side. And now I'm going in with some butter. And next, we're going in with that garlic. And it's three garlic cloves that I have chopped. I'm going to spread that garlic all over. And next, I'm going to squeeze half of a lemon into there as well. Lemon and fish just goes together. I just love the combination. And because sometimes tuna tends to dry out, I am going to take some of that sauce that was formed from the butter and the olive oil and the lemon and the garlic. And I'm going to just pour it slightly over the tuna steaks just so it can keep it moist. And now I'm just going to build the aromatics. I went in with a little bit more butter and now I'm going in with some thyme. And to top it all off, I'm going in with some parsley that I chopped, fresh parsley. If you have dried parsley, you can use that as well. If you have rosemary, you can use that as well. You can use whatever herb that you have that you're comfortable with to top this dish all off. And this is how my tuna steaks are looking. Oh, so good. I added some lemon slices towards the end. Thanks again so much for watching. I'm on the road to 10K. 
If you haven't subscribed as yet and you like my content, please do watch my ads because that helps. And remember, have a good day on purpose. Bye.